Right, so we're on the Marquis stand and Tim Englethwaite, Englefield, beg your pardon, Tim Englefield wanted us to look at the Milio 231. Four berth, two sleeping, four, four seat belts, two sleeping. 150 brake horsepower engine, it's under six meters. It's three, there's an option on uh, 3,650, but this is 3,500, which gives you a 560 kilogram payload. That's not bad. Yeah. As I correctly said when we were in Glasgow, it's the French bed. This is the French bed version. So we start with the French bed version. Right, okay, start at the back. Okay. I don't know how long the bed is there, but it doesn't look particularly long to me, but I might be wrong. Let's see if we can find out. Yeah, see if you can find out. Okay. It's got a bit of a cut off there, but most of these French beds do. Lockers at the back. Shelf space there. Oh, I find myself looking for USBs all the time. Can't see them. Out. You have got reading lights there, though. Right, six foot two long. Six foot two long, okay. By 4.5 wide. Okay, so that's all right. But it, that'll be at the widest yeah, point. Yeah, it'll be the widest so. point, yeah. So as long as you can fit your bum in there. Yeah. Am I allowed to say bum? No. No. Cut the bit out. A bit dark in the loo at the, at the moment, but uh, yeah. Hey, all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fine, good. thanks. I'm yeah, just checking so my van, it's all right. Yeah, I think it's all right. We could do some lights in there. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Brilliant. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah no. Someone else has to look at it. So. Yeah. So we'll have a look. Right. So this is the washroom. A little bit of a squeeze to get through there. Because it's it's a bit tight there, isn't it? But you've got wash basin here. I'm actually standing in the shower. You've got a duck board and shower here. And it's got what looks like uh, that works. Oh yeah, sorry, it's here. A rather convoluted thing for yeah. So you've got two, it's a two-way thing. Oh my goodness. You must surround yourself like yeah. In a box. Yeah, you put yourself in a little box here. That is a bit. Oh. I suppose it's okay once you get used to it. Yeah, you've got two two doors there. If I turn round, you've got the toilet in the corner there. Yeah, I'm struggling to get through here. Yeah, I would say that's my, that would be my negative on this van is that that is quite a tight. Maybe if you're not so wide challenged. Well, you, well you've got, got your coat. <laughs> I've got my coat on and my bag and everything. Have that on going no, in the shower. no, I suppose not. And you've got a little cupboard up there. Yeah. yeah. It depends how how much how many times well, you're going to use the shower. It would be better if they put the shower at the back, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's the lot of these side ones are. The shower yeah. is always yeah. to the back. Mm. It might be something to do with the wheel arch, where they've got the wheel arch. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, so what we got in the way of cooking? Three burner with yeah, electric. Electric, yeah. Sorry, two burner with electric. electric yeah. Sink. That's nice. Yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a 12 volt and 240 volt socket there. More storage under here. Well, that's a nice big drawer. Well, that is big. Yeah, that's great good. for pans, that. Yeah. Brilliant. Extractor fan. <laughs> I think this is the thing about these vans, and I think the salesperson at that motorhome, Scotland motorhome, said they're fully equipped, so you've got everything on them. Yeah. You've got satellite there, so you've probably got solar panel as well, extractor fan, microwave, and good, good size fridge with a freezer with a freezer compartment above it. Yeah. Excellent. Wardrobe? Wardrobe. Yeah, that's okay. 
quite a bit of storage actually. Yeah. That one we looked at with the drop down bed. Well, the one, yeah, the one with yeah, the drop down bed because you lost the cupboards in here. Yeah, yeah. So there are no got, cupboards in here. We've got that. And you, you've got your wine rack. Yeah. You've got loads of storage up here, look. So you could yeah. put soft things up there, you know, yeah, probably bedding or something. Yeah. Well, you, well, what am I talking about? You've got bed over there. Up there no. no. <laughs> Have a look. The cushions are quite soft, aren't they? I don't know what that one's like. That's this is quite standard. Hard. This is standard, standard Fiat, chair. though, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if you can get can move this. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's it. You can move it out of the way. Just wanted to get in here. It's a little bit of a struggle to get past that big table leg there, and that's fixed. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't move, does it? No. Out, Ta move. Table's permanently fixed here. But yeah, is that a sat nav there or is that standard radio? It says nav. Yeah, so it's got it's nav on it, yeah. yeah. More Fiat. sockets here. So it's a Fiat unit. Cup holders. What? <laughs> yeah. That magazine run? No, it's a bottle holder. A bottle holder? For your... For your wine glasses. A lot of wine glasses. Yeah, I think they're best designed for alcoholics. This is <laughs> <laughs> probably designed for us. You've got a nice extractor fan. Extractor fan well. up there. And you've yeah. got one over the cooker. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. You could create negative pressure in here and suck everything out, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I like oh, it. I'm quite unliking this one. Yeah, yeah. Given it, it is a little bit. Tight yeah, getting in there. That's, that's the what, challenge, yeah. But yeah, like, like they say, it's got fly screen. Fly screen. Yeah. It looks reasonably well built. Yeah. And cushions may be a bit. Yeah. Someone said these were a little bit soft, but I think they're alright. I think it was those white ones. Was it? Yeah, because the, this was in that, that one, you know, with the drop yeah. down bed. Yeah. And I really like that. The yeah. original one we looked at was it a 201. Yeah. That had white furniture everywhere, and that looked a bit sort of baggy and soft. But oh, your electrics are down there. Well, you've got a bit more storage space there. Yeah. yeah. So, a couple of things I don't like about it is this solid fixed table, but it's a continental thing, isn't it? So, it moves when you're driving. Well, you fix it, don't you? It's screwed down or something. But you can yeah, move it about. <laughs> just thinking when, when you turn that round. Yeah. Well, it goes oh, that way. It goes that way. Yeah. It does move out of the way. Yeah. Nice well, lights here. Is that, that not ideal for somebody sitting there, is it? Travelling? Mm. No, no. That doesn't matter. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. You know, well, I suppose if you've got the chair around the other way. Yeah. It could be up against the back of the chair. I suppose, yeah, and then perhaps it... It can move this way as well. It wouldn't move. Yeah. Just say so, so it's not a good idea to... No, I, d I would just prefer the option of not having the table there at all. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah, well that's okay. And with the <laughs> just saying with the table fully extended, I'm not sure how anyone gets in there. Unless they're really, really thin. But uh, I think you're probably going to end up with the eating on a table like that. So it doesn't, so doesn't rotate, it just rotates backwards and forwards that way. It, it? Goes, oh, it, goes all, it goes backwards and forwards, up and down, that way and that way. Yeah. So I'm sure you get round it. Yeah, okay. Right, this is a Roller Team T-Line 590 for Sharon Lydon. Yeah. So this is, again, it's under 6 metres, um, 130 brake horsepower engine, can't see the payload, I always try and look for the payload, vehicle, mass in running order, you can work it out, so 2820 and 3500, so on maths, 180 plus 500, so 680, yeah, 680, 680 that's a really good payload. It's got a garage at the back. If we can get in there. 
Yeah. It's a sort of side garage, isn't it, where la ladders and tall things go. This one's got bike rack on the back. LPG that side. Often with these these vans, you can't get round the side. <laughs> There's always a, one parked up the other side. Yeah. This one comes with a free driver's pack. Quite a step up. Yeah, it's like the yacht flooring finish. So. It's quite spacious in here, it feels quite spacious. Yeah, mainly because... E even with a drop down bed. Of, yeah. of, I suppose what's happened, of course, there's no lockers again. No, no. lockers around there. No. So they haven't attached lockers to the bottom of the, the bed. No. Limits your storage options a little bit. I think we sat in these roller teams before and they, these seats feel firm. It's like that Pegaso in layout, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, very similar, yeah. But also that was, that's an A-class. This also smells of sealant as well. Yeah, that did, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it did, yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting in the travel seat. Big square-ish table. And I suppose you can move that round. But I think unlike the one we were just in, this again it's is fixed to the table, isn't it? Oh, there's a thing for. Yeah. I think that's for letting it down or pushing it up. There's like a foot control there. Yeah. Um, I didn't yeah. There's like a lever underneath. It's about there, so you can move it about. That's okay. Yeah. You can choose how far the bed comes down there. Yeah, you can have it come right down, can't you? Yeah. So that's probably allows you to lower the yeah. table. Yeah, because this is telescopic, this leg, isn't it? So imagine yeah. this table drops right down. Yeah. I suspect it's pushing down on that, but I don't really want to do it because it, it goes right down. It's, yeah, a bit of space up there. You've got to put lockers in there, you know? Yeah. Right, moving backwards. Kitchen area, L-shaped kitchen. Pull out trays. Oh, it comes out. <laughs> oh. uh, wooden chopping board. That's well, this is that one that goes in there somehow. Can do that. Yeah, it's quite solid. Now in that, in that figure, so I have trouble with those, reaching those covers. Yeah, I've, you, have fact, you find with these lock with these lockers, what you have to do is push down on them, and then they open, because you see that locking mechanism does that. It's quite unusual. It took us a while to figure that out, didn't it? Three gas burners. Slimline fridge and cool drawer, oh, cold like drawer. That. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's good for bottles and things, mm. isn't it? Richer. That's a rack that comes all the wow. way out. Well, that's good. So you can put your cereal packets and yeah. condiments and. So they've got one that comes out there and one yeah. that comes across. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Like a little shelf there, controls up there. It's not a touch screen, but it's a, a push button type. Well, what would you call that? It's not a touch screen, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> iNet. So sort of it's somewhere between the old old fashioned ones and the, and, and the much yeah. more modern touch screen ones. I think that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right, bathroom. You bet you put your TV here, haven't you? Sorry. Did you? Did you put your TV point would be up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you'd have your TV there. TV probably in there. Yeah. Soon they'd put some sort of bracket in there, but I don't know how you would do that, unless it just stands in I there. I think it just stand in there. Yeah. Right, bathroom. Nice square shower.
Yeah, it's good. We can get in here. Plenty of headroom. Plenty of space Very to strong. store your cushions. And, and that's the access to the back uh, upright Locking. garage thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shelf that's fallen down. There's your ladder for your bed. And your ladder for your bed, yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks. That, it's got a little catch to hold in place. Yeah. Shut that That's it. And a little cupboard up there. And a frosty glass on the window. A lot of people get very worried about frosty glass, don't they? Mm, yeah. All we do is close the line. We've got it permanently closed. Yeah, we? even though it is frosted. <laughs> <laughs> so what's behind there then? Just it's a like, bit of storage space. Right. Just a bit of empty space. Reasonable sized sink. Good size mirror. Yeah. And also your drop down bed. It's an electric drop down bed. Is it? No, it's alright. It's alright, yeah. It's not the layout for us, but it's. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I do think I'd struggle with that, those covers. Try them. What, you mean reaching them? Yeah. I suppose that. That's the thing you found with that Pegaso is that yeah. the roof is quite high. Yeah, I can't. I and you're can't. trying to reach in there, yeah. aren't you? Come, I'll just go a little bit one. further. I'll try this in there. So if you are vertically challenged, <laughs> you'd need someone else to do the cooking, wouldn't really you? I can really see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd struggle with that. You'd have to deal with those covers. Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a stylish fan. It is mm. nice. I, I particularly like these. It's very roomy, really. Yeah. Yacht things. Yeah. Yacht things. Yacht floor type thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the trouble we get up early, isn't it? Mm. All the words go. Yeah. Yeah. Good. No, I quite like it. Right, so what we've got here is a, a Roller Team Zephyro 696, and this was for the 4th Earl of Patcham. <laughs> Are you really the fourth Earl of Patcham? And where's Patcham? Anyway, this is a Zafiro 696 on a Fiat, 7.45 metres long, 130 brake horsepower engine. Can't see what, what weight it is. So I'm missing something there. Garage at the back. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah, whoa, look at that. That's an impressive garage. It's not very high, but it's quite wide. It's 3,500. Yeah, oh, it's... Uh, That's payload is... Payload's a little bit low. It's 390 payload. Sleeps four. Yeah, so it's a four berth. Have a look inside. You've got more of a darker leather type feel to it. It's got a drop down bed and the difference with this one is you've got a couple of lockers on the drop down bed, some little lockers. Yeah. Electric drop down bed. L shaped lounge as before. The same table that except it's a little bit rounder this and doesn't mm. fold up. No. So a little bit smaller table. I don't mind that. A nice little mirror there. Yeah. TV point up there. I guess is that a TV point? What's that? Is that a socket? Yes, yeah, a socket. Controls are here. Trimmer heating. I mean, the, on all of these roller teams, they seem to have the same fridge, don't they? Yes. Yeah. With the uh, bottle the bottle drawer at the bottom. Yeah. Quite a plush-looking white worktop. It's, it is quite stylish in here, isn't it? It's mm. With all the white yeah. and the dark colours. There's like a splashback surround here, which is quite shiny. Three burner hob. Sink. Combi oven, Thetford combi oven. Comments? Yeah, it's like I say, the contrast between the, the two is quite nice. But Trouble seats there. Yeah. 
these to be higher up then. Yeah, there's a little step into the cab yeah. area, isn't there? Down. The rest of the floor is all the same level, all yeah. the way through. All the way through into the bedroom. Start the bed back up. Let's get back to the bedroom. Now, it's a, I remember this now. This has got two cutoffs, this island bed. Because you've got a cut off there, mm. and a cut off there. So, as you long as your feet are not right. very big. It's yeah, but so if, you, if your feet are quite small, <laughs> the rest of it is fairly wide. <laughs> Nice, a nice walk-in shower, but yes. it's got quite a step there, isn't it? So we would just be standing. We'd be standing there when you're having a shower. So, yeah. Don't give you much space to stand. The door. Got yeah. Folding doors. Yeah, they've got it? folding doors, like double, double, triple folding doors. Hmm. Not keen on those doors. No. But uh, there's an easy walk round to the bed and to the lockers. I can still just about stand up on this step. So there's quite a lot of headroom above it. And bear in mind, you've got a garage that goes underneath the bed. Underneath, yeah. So that's clever. You've probably got storage under the bed, have you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice. If your feet weren't. Yeah, I just I, I suppose they've had to do that, haven't they, to give you space to walk round. Yeah. So we have been in ones where it's really really difficult to get past, here, yeah. yeah. And I suppose really when you're sleeping, your feet aren't your worry, are they? It's it's the your shoulders and yeah, your bum. So. <laughs> I said bum again, haven't I? Yeah. There's a TV point here. Oh, I thought right. there was a TV when we came in, it's just a... TV point up there, magazine rack here. Yeah. So there's your toilet, and that closes off to the to the world. Or well, closes the bathroom off, effectively. That's not bad. So a bit of space in here. Little locker above. Set for toilet. Effectively shut the people shut the them off front, off the front. Don't you, uh, yeah. To the yeah so I mean if there were people sleeping in the front closing that door closing that door shuts them off yes. but if you want to go to the toilet you'd have to knock wouldn't they no I mean if you want to go to the toilet oh, if you want to. <laughs> in <laughs> here about them. yeah, yeah okay. you'd have to open their door and close that door yeah isn't that a little bit, a bit strange bit yeah that's why some. I mean, it's in the middle. Yeah, that's why sometimes these arrangements don't work for me, because yeah, that's fine shutting them off at night. Yeah. If you want to go to the toilet, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just going to the loo. And if you shut the door, they'll have to knock, wouldn't they? Yeah. If they want can to they, go to the loo. Can they? Can I'm, I'm now. Home? I'm now in here. Yeah. I want to go to the loo. Don't mind me, I'm just going <laughs> to the low. <laughs> yes. mm. <laughs> mind you, what did we say about uh, motorhomes? Most motorhomes are bought, 98% of motorhomes are bought by couples for couples. Couples, yeah, yeah. Which begs the blooming question, I'm a bit stroppy here today, <laughs> begs the question, why this great big drop down bed? In case you've got someone staying in there. Right? Yeah, but 98% <laughs> motorhomes only got two people in them. Yeah. <laughs> That's upset her. So now just try it. Cupboards are nice though. Yeah. <laughs> you can't reach them, can you? <laughs> I'm not going to go on about that, I can't reach them. <laughs> yeah, very nice though. Apart from that thing that I really don't <laughs> like. That you don't like. Yeah. Right, the Earl, fourth Earl? Fourth Earl of Patcham has asked us to look at the Titanium or Chawson 718. Now they don't do the 718 anymore, so nearest we can find with an island bed is the titanium 758 
going to have to step back here because it's quite a big van. It is, yeah. So, yeah. And you've got a big garage. And the bed, the bed is part of the garage. Yeah. So you could get in the, in the bed from the garage. Mm, no, no. no, that's the idea. Okay. Let's have a look. Bin on the door. Nice window. Oh, a nice grab handle here. Very nice chrome effect. We'll have a look here. So, drop down bed. This is the one we've commented on before that's got like a cut off on the drop down bed. It curves off towards the end. I think it's to avoid the. I don't know what it's to avoid actually. Avoid the electric, electrics there. But the great thing about this is that. It's a Ford, so I can forgive it anything. Is it an auto? Is and it's an automatic, and it's a Ford, and it's got a little steering wheel. <laughs> so that's it. That's, that's, that's done. Then, <laughs> it's done it? it for me. Yeah, very nice. Travel seats, big folding table here. It's one that obviously goes down. It's got the. Yeah, drops down. You can make another bed in here. I imagine you could probably seat five in here. I don't know, you make a bed here. Well, I don't know, but why would it drop down otherwise? So that, that drops down. Yeah, that drops down. You've got a bed at the back, which we'll come to in a minute. You've got lockers here. Don't get up quickly, because that's quite close to your head there. Yeah, I know, I saw it when I came in. Yeah. I'll have to, be, to watch that. I'll have to be careful. Down. I'll have to be careful when I get up. Excuse me. Do you want to try the travel seat? No, your feet are off the ground. That's not the seat's problem, is it? <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun today, aren't we? Because <laughs> <laughs> getting up earlier. <laughs> yeah. Three burner hob. Ooh, sink. Not, on, not the biggest sink I've ever seen, and not the biggest work surface I've ever seen. No. But you've got a combi oven down the bottom. That's a That's deep, quite nice. deep locker. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Presumably this is your cutlery drawer. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Got a little rack up here for things. Curing your meat or something, I don't know. <laughs> you've got these strange catches underneath. It's springs. Yeah, you have to sort of pull them. Okay. Obviously, a TV goes here. You'd you know. That'd be a TV point. That's why you got the cut off, haven't it? Because your yeah. TV goes there. Yeah. That's a deep freezer compartment, isn't it? Mm. What make is this then? I think it might be a thick hood hat. Say, it? It's all in black. It's probably black writing on a black background. Mm, see right. So moving backwards. Sens sensible size shower. Bit of a bit of a step, but not huge. A nice square shower head. So I like that blue backlit. That's mm. yeah, it's good. And a vent nice above. Shower, yeah. Vent above. So what's in here? It's a door. I, look, I, thought, I thought that was a cupboard because I've got like a... I thought it was a <laughs> cupboard in the middle then. Yeah. Oh. Get rid of Jenny. And we can have a look in the toilet. Yeah. yeah that's quite good. Sink down there. And the toilet. Yeah, good. Same, that's my, the same comment goes for that, this arrangement though. If someone's sleeping in there and they want to go to the toilet, they're going to mm. disturb everybody, aren't they? And if someone's in here and that door is shut, they're going to have to close it to go to the low, opening up that space there. Yeah. But um, people do do buy these, so I assume people find a way around it. That's 
It is a nice big bed, isn't it? 160 centimetres wide. With that outside access to, I assume there's some sort of roller thing there that comes down to. I think the bed, you can raise the bed, can't you? Yeah, the, the bed goes up and down. Yeah. We'll look under here. Yeah, some more storage under there. And that, it can get access to the garage as well from there. Yeah. It looks a nice bed. Doesn't it? Yeah. Pleasant bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. You've got another. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to come round here. How about actually in this one? Got yeah. another door. Oh, so you can shut the bedroom off? Yeah. I wonder if you could do that in the other one, but I didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. I don't think you could. So Probably you can couldn't. shut the bedroom yeah. from there. Yeah. So at least that shuts off the shower. So it gives you a bit of privacy if yeah. you're having a shower. Hello. Yeah, and also for the other people. Yeah, in the van. You've still got the thing that if you want to go to the, I suppose at night, you would shut, could shut this off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Have a head round it. <laughs> Seems like a lot of doors and slidey things. <laughs> Fly screen. Fly screen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. A lot of these come with automatic gearboxes, don't they? The because Fords do, yeah. yeah. They tend to do that because, I mean, there's Fiat's don't do, hang on, get this right, Peugeot don't do the automatic. No, no, really. Fiat do the um, the robotic gearbox thing. Um, but Ford have an automatic. VW have an automatic. Mercedes have an automatic. Yeah. So the reason to buy, for me, would be automatic gearbox. Yeah. Yeah. No, I quite like this actually. Yeah. A little dicky seat here. Sit here and watch the world go by. Yeah. Nice. Not keen on the toilet arrangement, but. Yeah, but if there's only two of you in it, I probably, suppose. A... Probably wouldn't need this. No. I... I'd like to see this van without that, without yeah. a drop down bed. But if you need that, I suppose you've got to have it, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Right, this is for Ross Holmes, who wanted to have a look at this little caravan. This is the Explore 304, four berth, single axle, 14,294. So it's like I say, it's four berth, it's a plated MT PLM, 1,043, maximum 1,100. The maximum user payload 134, 35 rather. So that's not bad, is it? No. For a little caravan. All right, let's have a look inside. Well, this is an unusual layout. Isn't this different? So you've got L-shaped sofa at the, you know, at the front, aren't you? So you've got a little L-shaped. This is nice. Yeah. A yeah, big picture big window. window, yeah. And you've got bunks at the back and a, and a little dinette. A reasonable amount of work sp space there. A load of drawers. Let's have a look at this first. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a bigger wardrobe than you get in most motorhomes. So, freestanding table. But uh, yeah, I like that little land. Yeah, it's good. It's lovely, isn't it? I it's up into a bed. Yeah, it's got um, a flap thing there, for making more space there. And you've got a little occasional table there. That's for your oh, that's your telly, isn't it? That's where your telly goes. Yeah. Yeah. And a little shelf down down below. Presumably, you could put another cushion in there. I think. But might I be think wrong. It's it's like a brooch on this one, folks. We've got a little brochure, Ross Holmes, so if you contact us, probably the best thing is we'll send you this brochure. So we'll just have the salesman <laughs> come in and check we're alright. I we said we're looking at it for someone. Yeah, good size lockers, aren't they? Look, yeah, all the way around there. Yeah. Good. Plate rack, cup rack. Yeah, cup rack. 
So what we've got in the way of cooking facilities, three burner gas hob, combi oven, little drawer, little drawer. bigger drawer, bigger drawer yeah. more drawers, <laughs> more drawer. and, and even couple more cupboards. 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 Yeah, that's cupboards nice. Bunk bed here and a dinette area here. Yeah, I think if you a yeah, couple and, and a kid, yeah, that would be good. Kids. Two kids, yeah, cause oh, because that will make up as well, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little table, Let's have a look at the washroom. It's a wet room, really, isn't it? But uh, perfectly adequate. There's more hanging space there, that's interesting. They put a little hanging rail in there, cupboards in uh, things in there. Presumably you've got a curtain, yeah, there's a little curtain that goes around. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Blinds? Yeah, nice blinds. What is that? Oh, well, we looked in there, haven't we? Yeah, we've done that. Done that, yeah. Done that. Okay, that's no, good. And a fly screen. A little fly screen here. So it comes with an explore pack, so AKS, AKS stabiliser, alloy wheel, spare wheel kit, uh, CD player, and a wheel lock receptor. Doesn't come with a wheel lock then, but. Yeah. No, that's worth looking at, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so we're going to have a look at uh, an encore for Kev Andrews. He's asked, didn't say which particular model, but nice. but got That's quite a range. Models. Yeah, so we're just going to pick one at random, I think. So two, the two eight five. We're going in the two seven five. You want to go in the two seven five? So this is two seven five. It's a two berth, big sofas, and looks like a big bathroom at the back. So this is. A 7.4 metre van it's still 3,500 520 kilos payload it's got a big it's got an accessories pack on it bike rack tracker let's have a look this is a bit of a wow factor like a leather effect Sofa here. Wow. Is it leather? Oh, that's a massive sofa. Yeah. You could just sleep on these sofas, couldn't you? You could. Yeah. It's really nice looking upholstery. Leather effect. I don't know if it's leather effect or. Oh, it is leather. So this is optional leather interior. Always a little bit suspicious when I see this and I think it's. But this is leather. So you can actually make up the bed, can't you, by pulling yeah. that across, yeah. and it still leaves you with, with somewhere to sit. these seats. Yeah, yeah. Good, good point. Yeah, so that's nice. Yeah. It's a real feeling of space in here, I mean, to entertain people in here, yeah. saying six in that little bailey, yeah. eight in here. Yeah, more than, yeah. yeah, two at the front. Yeah. It's a good, isn't it? Yeah, look at the cupboards. We're not going to open them all. No, they're all very silly. <laughs> but there's a lot of them. Yeah. It's a little step into the lounge there. Yeah, so you've got four on that side, three on that side. That lovely Russell Hobbs it's microwave. Well, right. <laughs> well, that sold it for me. <laughs> That's done it. Loads of workspace there. So I presume you could put your telly there. No, telly goes there. Yeah. Yeah. All your US, USBs there. TV bracket. Big, big Dometic fridge. Oh wow. That is great, isn't it? This is a really luxurious van for two people, isn't it? It is. Proper cooker. Massive electric hot plate, three burner gas, grill and oven. 
Just look at the workspace. This is caravan space, isn't it? This is the sort of space you get in a big caravan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is a, as long as a van. Yeah, it? yeah. But yeah. You've got all this space, space at the front, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because you haven't got a separate bedroom. No, that's right. If you don't mind making up the beds so, or just sleeping on these sofas. Yeah, lots of space in the kitchen, big drawers in here, big cupboard down there. There's space under here. I think the table must live in here. Yep, table lives in there. Aldi central heating, fly screen. Cupboards up there, three way TV thing. Yeah. I must say, I'm quite impressed with this, Elders. Yeah, I am, yeah. These seats are lovely. Yeah. Really comfortable. Yeah. Let's have a look in the bathroom. I think you'll be even more impressed in here. I had a quick look earlier. Loads of space. Right, let's start with it. Magnetic catches on there. I always feel like they're going to break, but seem to work fairly well. Two, wow. hang, two hanging areas. That is a big, big locker. Drawers underneath. Nice square shower. Yeah, that's good. A nice feature, yeah, drying rail. Well, You've got skylight. skylight. Yeah. Plenty of lights in here. I know they've obviously got this, that artificial one there, but you've got lights there, lights there, lights there. Cupboards up here. It's a little bit skew with that one. Needs a bit of adjustment. But yeah. This is very nice. Big vanity mirror for two people. Yeah, height of luxury. luxury isn't yeah, it? two people who like having other people around as well. Yeah, but you could do you know get prepare things over there quite yeah. easily. Yeah, so you could make massive meals, couldn't you? You could, yeah. It's on a Peugeot. Little locker things up there, and they're quite deep, so that's good. So you can use that. I think we'll just stay in here. I think we're yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's got takeaways. Yeah. So that two seven five is five three zero oh, four nine, as shown. But we one other one we wanted to look at was the two eight five. Yeah, so this is the twin beds arrangement. Let's have a look. So obviously you've got a shorter sofa here. Well, that's a, quite a narrow sofa there, isn't it? Yeah. Good sized kitchen, because the difference with this one is twin beds. But again, it's, it's nice. It is nice. I like the encores. Yeah. yeah. Could have this in leather as well if you wanted. Yeah, this is a tiny little sofa. <laughs> but yeah. So who was this for? Um, Mike Alding. Right. Michael Alding. Okay. So Michael, this is yeah, it's very nice. It's probably a layout we'd go for, I guess, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, they, they do it in all the range, don't they? Two eight yeah. five. Is this, this the thing. one with the travel seats in, inside? Because everyone always asks me. Yes. Is this the one with the travel seats? It is the one with the travel seats. So you have got travel seats that come up from under there. There, yeah. I'm not going to try. <laughs> Am I going to try it? I'm going to have a look. See what happens. Oh no, I don't want to do it. No. Not one-handed. But yeah, you have got the travel seats in here. But people we know who've had the travel seats and an eldest yes. had them removed. That's right, because they didn't need them. Because they weren't using them. No. And it's extra weight, of course. And you lose the storage. And you lose the you storage under there. Much else you can there. sort of see it under there. Yeah, sometimes they have it on a 
on a stand separately. Yeah. Like a, yeah. Was, was it last previous October show? Yeah. I actually sat in one. Didn't yeah. I? Yeah. The and it, yeah, in a box. In a box. <laughs> but it, I mean, I've got to confess, it's not. It doesn't appeal to me because you do end up like you're sitting inside a box. Yeah. Because the the seat actually is inside. Inside a cupboard. there. Yeah. But I do like the layout of this, and it also, of course, it means you lose all that storage, doesn't it? But yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. Smaller fridge than the two seven five. Big solid sink. Yeah. Oh, I can hardly lift it with one hand. Good size. Electric hot plate, three gas burner, proper oven grill. Russell Hobbs microwave. Hooray. <laughs> plate oh, rack, hang on, cup holder. Of instead of the wire thing. Yeah, instead of the chrome effect, the yeah. plastic. It might actually stop it rattling a bit, though. Yeah. More lockers at the back. I think your locker space will be at a premium with those travel seats in there. Yes. So yeah. the more lockers you have, it just stops you storing bigger th bigger stuff, doesn't it? Have a look underneath here. Ooh. Yeah, well you've got plenty of storage there. There. What yeah. sort of heat? The Audi heating, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's Audi, Audi heating. All oh, the Encores have Audi, don't they? So I wonder where... Is, is it under that there? Probably. You want me to lift this up now? Oh, yes! There's the Audi unit there. Yeah. That's like ours, though. Yeah, it's got a locker here. I don't quite know what's going on there. Oh, it's a drawer. Got a drawer there. That's quite handy for socks and things. And it's got another one behind you. Can you hold that up for us? Yeah, it's got another one. Oh, it's got two. 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 Oh no, that gives you access underneath. What does the other one on the other side do? You've got a drawer. It's a drawer, yeah. Yeah, but you've also got another drawer there. Oh, have you? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. That's the... Uh, it's electrics. Right. It's open plan. Yeah. But what's different to that advance yeah. that we had is yeah. that we've got this yeah. and the bed's lowered lower down, isn't it? So you don't no, I think the bed's about the same height. No, it's no, I don't think it's that different. No, you don't. No. You had the cooker there. Well, cause we You've got a splash plate. plate. You've got a yeah. spa splash plate here, which is a yeah. good idea. And you, you're not you're not having a thing that goes yeah. over the bed. The, the advance had a flat came that came out there. and the danger of course then is spill things on the bed but TV goes here and I did quite like that because you can either sit there and watch it or yeah you, you wouldn't have it fixed you just have it sitting on there I, I would worry that I'd knock it off when I came in mm. there yeah don't know if it's got a like a bracket fit, fit in but no. no yeah a couple of USBs there and TV and satellite point uh, 240 volt sockets Nice headboard, you've got a little place to drop your glasses. But no USB to charge your phone. You'd use these ones, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, you'd, put, you'd just put, plunk it on there, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. It's a bit like our bathroom, this one. Except you've got the wardrobe at the back here. Yeah. That's good. There's a table in there. No, I think the table's that cupboard, isn't it? I'll find it in that cupboard. It's in here. Shower, hang on a sec. Oh, they're nice. I like these sliding doors on the shower, that's good. Yeah. Play with that all day. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice shower. Again, you've got hanging rails here. Skylight. Definitely worth having a look at these, isn't it? Oh, nice. Sorry, where were you saying the table is? The table's in there. I think that's really clever. Oh, that is good, isn't it? Because that's making good use of this. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And there's a little space up there as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
it looks like you can shut this area off as well. Behind you, there's a fly screen there. Oh, right. A fly yeah. screen. A pull across. A sliding pull across thing. thing. I couldn't think so of the name of it. You could go off to bed and leave somebody in here. Yeah. In here. Yeah. And one, two, possibly yeah. two on there. Possibly two small ones on there. You can move that. Yeah, you could lose the cushions, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the the other what do you call it? Curtain? Blind? Comes across from there, so they must meet in the middle. Mm. Very pleasant in here. You would if you pulled that across though, and you were staying up to watch the TV. Yeah. It's a bit of a problem, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because you can't see the TV. <laughs> You'd need one of those little portable TVs, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you would, yeah. A portable, little portable 12 volt TV. You could sit in here, sit in here and watch it in here. Yeah. That'd be a really good idea when they're having a second TV. Yeah. So. I do like it. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be on your list? Certainly with yeah. the tw twin beds. Yeah. I mean, we've never been in these encores before. No. I think so. No. It's great that uh, Kev suggested them. Yeah. We've been in all the other eldest yeah. ranges, but not in these, and they're very, very nice. Yeah, fold-away seating system. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's yeah, so that's the encore. Well, this is the NEC car park. <laughs> East car park. One. Uh, East one car park. And... Uh, when we asked about the Rymore vans, and you're going to have to tell me his number. Oh, this was just closed. Uh, one eight seven five one four seven nine. So if that's you, and I know you won a ticket to the NEC, so you must yeah. be coming here. Is the the Seal Nine is in a car park yes. in the NEC? Yeah. And what the man on the stand said is, if you want to have a look at it. Uh, go, go to the, um, the, the, go to the Rymore stand, and have a word with Paul Williamson. Is that it? Yeah, it's in Hall Three, isn't it? The, the Rymore stand, three thousand. Yeah. Three one one two. Sorry, Rymer. yeah. Okay, so the Rymore stand is in Hall Three, three one one two. So if you want to have a look at the Seal Nine which is this fan here he will take you through, he will take you over and you can have a look at it but it, for us to have a look at it, it meant coming all the way over here having a look at it and then going all the way back Yeah. so uh, sorry we couldn't have a look at it yeah. just run out of time basically because we're on our way back to our own car it's basically they bought too many vans for their for their stand their area didn't they? yeah, yeah. So that's an unusual <laughs> ending, isn't it? <laughs> Different. From the, so from the car park. <laughs> so for now, from the car park <laughs> at the windy, NEC, yeah. where it's pretty windy and it's a bit cold and it's raining slightly. Yeah. Um, it's goodbye for now for from day two. Yes, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, day two. So, yeah. we, we, for now, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you soon. You know when you say thumbs up? You always want to do that? I, I can't really do that. <laughs>